Welcome back. It's been a while. I've just been testing the Outen, which is basically the coffee comes out and then the coffee goes in. So that's the name, Outen. This is a little espresso extraction machine. Uh, basically heats, you can have two options. It can heat the water up and you'll get about three to four extractions. Or you can pour your boiling hot water in the top of the reservoir and you'll get anywhere between 100 to 200 extractions depending on how much you fill the reservoir and how much it's got to pump. So it can run, it can run on ground coffee or you can use the, you can use the little coffee pods. Uh, I've always said I've been against these pods, but I've used this in hiking a couple of times and the pods, are, they're a good compromise, especially about portability and not having to worry about grinding the coffee. Uh, this is the box that comes in. I'll just give you a quick, quick rundown unboxing. So when you buy this, the base model Outen, it comes with a little porta filter which you can put your ground coffee in. And then you also get your little coffee pod adapter where you can put your coffee pods in. So you can just toss up whichever one you want to use. It has rechargeable batteries inside built in. And so you, whatever, it's a USB-C charger. It comes with a little cable but uh, it won't charge with anything below five watts and you can't use the machine whilst it's charging. Just to give you a reference of size, this is a drink bottle out of my mountain bike and you can see the size, they're roughly similar size. So in this summer situation, I've, lately I've been having cold milk with ice and just extracting the coffee onto the milk. I approached Outen about if they could send me one out to do a review on it, uh, which they kindly did, which I appreciate. That's my disclosure. They didn't pay me to do this review. So when you charge this up with the USB-C, it takes about three hours to charge from flat. Okay, we've just ground our coffee. So I'm just gonna, this is so it's an espresso grind. Yeah, so just, there's a little lip on that, so I can stick that on top, invert that. So you can see that, and then I can just tamp it down little bit there, you can just brush your excess off. And then you've got this little cap here. You can see the little screen on it. That clips on the top. So now your coffee grounds are contained in there. I could fill it up a little bit more, but your coffee grounds are contained in there. So it's basically like a little coffee capsule, very similar to one of these in a sense. Spin it around and that slots in like that. And this is, this is where the water comes out. Screw that onto there. And making sure to do it up quite tight, quite firm. So now you've got your coffee all in there ready to go. Now we decide whether we put hot water in here or we just put cold water in and then let the machine heat it up. I want a nice coffee. So I'm gonna put about 50 mils of water in here in the top of the reservoir. Wrong one, and you can put your cap on press it for two seconds to heat and extract. So if I press this button down, it, it, you might have heard the beep and now it's starting to flash. And what it'll do, as it heats up, these lights will accumulate. And then once it gets to the fourth light, then you'll hear the pump start up and start to extract. So I'm just gonna put that aside. And while that's heating up, put some ice in here. So once it gets to that last fourth LED, it'll start to extract. So I've got my milk. I'm gonna pour my milk onto the ice. So it's made a beep. You can hear it fire up. And we should start to get our nice espresso. So we can drizzle it on there. You can see that nice color. You can put sugar with it if you want to. Mm. Definitely beats instant coffee, that's for sure. That's a ground coffee, but if you want something simple and easy, you can just use the coffee capsules. So you just slip, slip the capsules in, make sure you push it down. And basically that's all ready to go. 
and in the in the cap here so when you push this capsule in into here it presses on those little look like little uh, little chocolate bars that pushes in and penetrates and the pressure of the water and that it actually punctures this so that just sits in there like that and that's ready to ready to go again just screw that on and what I can do I'll put another 50 mils in here you can put more water on it if you want but I usually just put 50 mils and I can hold that down for two seconds and it'll beep it'll start flashing something biting me again I'm just going to rest that in the cup this is nearly ready to extract okay you can hear it once you get to three to four bars you'll hear it starting to simmer and we're nearly on the four fourth LED which is blinking and we'll shut start the extraction in the, in a second okay it's there's a beep and then you'll hear it pop it goes pop so it's punctured the capsule as opposed to the ground coffee previous that's it that's nice I'm just going to heat this milk up and I'm just going to make the flat white or espresso uh, cappuccino in here so I'm going to use extract it straight into the cup you can see the coffee separation in that and if you want to mix it up you could even use this to mix it up And that's slowly starting to warm up you can see it there hopefully you can see how effective that is I'm going to extract straight into the cup provided give it a swirl and thing with this too you don't really like little shots like this with a bit of milk or water you really don't need that much sugar because it's not bitter it's not like an instant coffee that has that bitter taste anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one